Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Explain This. I, of course, as always, am with the star of the show, Robin Riddle. We're in Explain This Studios over in Knoxville, Tennessee, and we've got a we've got a really important topic here today because you know a lot of times we talk about the men as it regard as it re- uh, comes to libido and sex drive. But we, we don't talk about women. So today we're going to talk about the female libido and kind of explain what's going on there, hopefully, you know, to educate people on what they can do if they struggle in this area. So, Absolutely. Robin, explain female libido. All right. Well, obviously, we do a lot of female hormones here in the office. And so I am constantly having this conversation with women yeah. where they're telling me, you know, I have no drive. I have no libido. I, it doesn't interest me at all. I could take it or leave it. And some of them are OK with that. But a lot of them. It's causing some issues at home or they feel like they're doing something they don't really want to be doing. So let's get into it. But they want to. They want to want want to to want it, but they don't want it. Okay. Um, And so there's a lot that goes into it. So like I said, very multifactorial. For women, it's more than just a testosterone level or something like that. Body image has a lot to do with it. So are we working on weight? Are we talking about exercise? Things like that that make you feel better about yourself. Um, Emotional has a lot to do with it. You have to feel appreciated. You need to be able to communicate with your partner. So I have that whole conversation with patients, of course. Um, But then we get to the medical side of it because there's definitely some medical reasons why libido would be low. Now, out of curiosity, would would oxytocin, which we've done and explained this episode on, would that play a part in some of the emotional side of it? Absolutely. Okay. And so when I talk about medications to help libido, oxytocin is one of the number ones that I, number one things that I talk about. So definitely check that video out. I'm sure we'll link it. Yeah. But oxytocin increases that loving bonding effect. Mm -hmm. Um, Oxytocin can also increase how good orgasms feel. So it makes it easier. It feels better. It makes it to be something you want to do more. Okay. Um, And just in general makes you happier. You, when you feel happier, you feel more like doing things. Um, So Oxytocin is definitely a go-to. Uh, I'm always checking testosterone levels with libido. Like you said, we always talk about men having low libido with low yep. testosterone. It does the same thing for women. And a lot of women really don't even realize that they have testosterone or that they need it. Well, th- that's been the most fascinating thing, you know, as I've been on this journey with you doing all this content is, you know, I'm learning that women need testosterone just as yeah. much as men do and they don't realize it. We don't, yeah. And, but that's the one thing that they'll tell you guys like that's what they almost appreciate the most when they come in for pellets or some sort of hormone therapy. Right. Testosterone is the the libido, the energy, the drive, the muscle. Yeah. I feel like I, I personally, as a provider, like to dose testosterone higher and mm-hmm. keep estrogen a little bit lower. I want enough estrogen for somebody to not have hot flashes, night sweats, things like that. But testosterone really is where I see women feel great. And by feeling great, are you including, you know, increasing libido? Absolutely. Okay. okay. Absolutely. Um, so it, lots of different ways to replace testosterone, which we've talked about before. Um, but that's one of the key indicators where I will increase their levels is they're like, yeah, I've had a little bit of return of libido, but I feel like it could be better. Absolutely. Let's go up on testosterone. It's, okay. It is going to help. Okay. Testosterone is going to help. Um, like I said, oxytocin. Um, and then they make topical creams that can be applied that help increase sensation. Um, they call them libido creams and things like that. So there's compounded creams that are made with um, Tadalafil, which is not Viagra. The other one. Um, come on. <laughs> I just uh, totally like What is that? <laughs> Whatever uh, the brand Cialis. name of it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I just call it Tadalafil. Yeah. Um, so it's topical Tadalafil because oral pills like Cialis and Viagra don't really work as well for women. The oh, I was thinking it was only for men. Generally, some providers will prescribe it, but in general, it doesn't work as well for women. The, the whole process is different. Again, because this uh, libido for women, a lot of it's mental, sure. not a blood flow issue. Um, but a, a topical cream that has some of that Tadalafil in it can increase increase blood flow, which increases sensitivity, which just makes everything feel better. Right. So there's a lot of different ways that we can help. You don't have to live with a low libido, feel like you're suffering through your sex life. Um, we want to help you enjoy that. Now, are there any like, I, and I don't think that we do any of this here, but is there any like procedures or anything like that that you recommend or you like in the particular? The O-shot. Okay. And, and that's what, in, in the back of my head, I knew there was yeah. something <laughs> and it's the O-shot. Tell us a little bit about that. Is that something that you... Uh, are a fan of for patients or or no? Yeah, absolutely. It's one of those, it 
either is going to help or it's not. Okay. But it can work wonders for some people. Um, obviously, some people are a little weirded out by it because they're literally doing injections down there. So right. they numb it. But um, but they draw your blood from your arm, spin it down, extract the PRP from it, and inject it. Got it. Um, so I, I know several providers that do this service, and I know women that have absolutely loved it. I mean, they do it for men, too. They call it the P-Shot. Yep. Um, so for some people, it absolutely works wonders. And if it's something that you can afford to try out, uh, it it absolutely can help too. So the main thing I'm hearing is just a, a certain blend of hormones in addition to maybe oxytocin Yeah. and, you know, the desire to want to increase your libido. Right. Is that kind of what I'm hearing? Yeah. Super absolutely. interesting. Well, thank you for addressing this because I know a lot of people are thinking it. We don't address it enough. We talk yeah. too much about the men in this arena. So thank you for explaining this. Can't leave the women out. Can't leave the women <laughs> out. Guys, you name it. We explain it. This has been Explain This with Robin Riddle. We appreciate you guys hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Don't go away.